How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over another lead code question. Today our question is from Amazon and it's called Word Search. Okay guys, so today our question is called Word Search. It's a question that's being asked by Amazon right now. Our problem description says, given a 2D board and a word, find if the word exists in the grid. The word can be constructed from letters or sequentially adjacent cells, where adjacent cells are those horizontally or vertically neighboring. The same letter cell may not be used more than once. Okay, cool. So we're basically just searching for a word, and we need to construct that word from different cells in our grid. Awesome. So as an example, if this is our board here, uh, given this word that we're searching for, we would return true, right? And the reason for that is we can go A, B, C, C, E, D. Um, for the word C, we could construct that by S, E, and then E, and then A, B, C, B, A, B, C, and we don't have another B, and then for this A, A, and we don't have a B to actually traverse to. So that's why we would return false. Okay, cool. So what do we really need to do here? Well, what we really need to do is just first like look through our grid, right? So that's pretty easy. We can look through our grid. And we can basically, if we ever find the first letter of the word, we need to start a DFS, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna iterate through our board, so like this, and now let's say we find the first letter of the word that we're looking for, we're gonna run a DFS on this cell, and we're basically gonna try and find all the different other characters that we need in that word. And if we can ever actually do that, we'll return true, and if we've traversed the entire board at the end, and we've never found the word, we'll return false. So that's a high level overview of how we're gonna do this. Let's start getting into the code and I think it'll make more sense once it's down. So we wanna first iterate through our board and find the first letter if we can. So we're gonna say four int i equals zero while well, i is less than board dot length, i plus plus, four int j equals zero while well, j is less than board of i dot length, j plus plus. Okay, so this is just going through our board, right? Go through all the rows and for every row, go through everything in the columns. Cool, so now we wanna check if the cell we're on, so if board, of ij is equal to, we said the first letter of our word, right? So word.care at zero. And we can find the remainder of the word, right? So if we can find all the other characters in our word, then we want to return true. So this is where we're going to write our DFS function. So if we found the first letter and our DFS function returns true, meaning we can find all the other characters, we'll return true from this whole function. So we need to pass it our board, our our row that we're on, the column that we're on, the count of how many letters we found, and then we also want to pass it our word that we're looking for. Okay, and so if, if we find the first letter and we can find the remainder of the letters, we'll return true. Cool. And so if this actually ever goes through the entire grid and we've never returned true, we're just going to return false because we can't actually find the word. Awesome. So now this is really the bigger part of the problem, right? We need to write this DFS function. So we're gonna say public Boolean because it's gonna return true or false as to whether or not we found the word. We call it DFS. It takes a character grid, right? So a character, a 2D character array called board. We take an integer i, an integer j, an int called count. And then we also take a string that's called word. Okay, cool. So what do we want to know? Well, first thing we want to check is always if we found the word, right? And so if we found the remainder of the word, we know that our count has to be equal to the word's length. So that's a really easy check, right? So if our count is equal to word.length, oops, then we could just return true. Awesome. So now the next thing we need to check is if we've ever actually gone outside of our grid, right? So if somehow we're on the top right corner, I guess top right corner for you guys, um, and we've traversed outside, right, one of the different directions to go outside the grid, we want to stop recursing. So a really easy way to check that is just check our bounds. So if i is less than zero, or i is greater than or equal to board.length, or j is less than zero, or j is greater than or equal to board of i.length, or we're currently on a cell in the grid, but the cell that we're on doesn't have the letter that we're looking for. So that would just be board of ij is not equal to word dot care at our count. So if any of those things are true, we're gonna return false. Cool, so again, i less than zero, that's going out of bounds above our board, i greater than or equal to board that length, that's going out of bounds below, j less than zero, that's going out of bounds to the left, and j greater than or equal to board that length, that's going out of bounds to the right. 
And then again, our final check here is just if the cell we're on is not equal to the character we're looking for. So if we get down here, guys, to line 23, that means that we haven't found the remainder of the word and we're still in the grid, right? We haven't gone out of bounds and the character that we're looking for, we just found. So now again, we need to continue our recursion, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is just take care of this fact, right? The cell, the same letter cell may not be used more than once. So a really easy way to mark the cell that we're currently on is used, right? In case a word has duplicate A's or several C's or something, is we could actually just mark the current cell as an empty uh, space, right? So we could just do that but we need to also remember the value in that cell because we need to add it back after our recursive calls. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna make a character called temp. We're just gonna set it to board of ij. And now we're gonna set the board, now that we've saved its value, we're gonna set the board to an empty space. So we're gonna say board of ij equals an empty space. And now we're actually gonna try and do our recursion. So again, we're gonna ask, okay, from the current spot, can we find the remainder of the word? So we're gonna say Boolean found and that's gonna equal a DFS of our board I plus one, so traverse to the cell below us, J count plus one word. And we're gonna or that, right? Because we can either find the remainder of the word going down, going to our left, to our right, or up, right? So we're gonna traverse all those directions. So we're gonna say or with DFS of board I minus one, J count plus one word. And again, we're gonna or that with DFS board I J plus one, right? So we're gonna to move to our right one cell, count plus one word. And then finally, board with DFS board I J minus one, count plus one word. Awesome. Cool. So now, once that actually returns, all we have to do is like we said, after these recursive calls, we just need to restore our previous value of that board so we're going to say board of ij equals temp and then all we have to do after that guys is actually just return did we find the thing right so we're going to say return found and that will contain true or false as to whether or not we found the remainder of the word so before we actually submit this code and make sure it works let's talk quickly about the runtime so i think the runtime here right we're definitely going through every uh cell in the board so we could say that's o of n where n is the number of cells in our board so we could have said this is n times n, we could have said this is n squared, depending on how we want to represent our variables. So I'm just gonna simply say it's O of n, where n is the number of cells in our grid. And then what about the space complexity? We're actually modifying the board in place here, right? But the problem is we have these recursive calls. And so the worst case, right, the amount of recursive calls that we could potentially have on the stack is really if our entire board is the word that we're looking for, right? So what if we actually need everything on our board to create the word we're looking for? That's the worst case, so I'd say our space complexity is also O of n. So let's run this code, make sure that it works. Awesome, and it does. So guys, that's how to solve word search in Java. Again, it's a question that's being asked by Amazon. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, do me a favor, leave the video a like, and subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, I need hunger, when I drop, drop.